there, yarn lovers. It's Gary, and I'm coming to you from my living room here in Vancouver, Canada. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is Sunday, August the 22nd, 2021, and this is my second video of the day. Uh, the video number for this episode is 121. And yeah, what I'm going to catch you up on in this episode is talk to you about all of my finished objects, a work in progress, and also do a little bit of a spotlight on a local yarn store that I visited. This yarn store is on Vancouver Island called Uptown Yarns. It's been about the third time that I visited that store, but I found some local hand dyed yarn from the area and I want to showcase that as well. I've purchased all of the yarn with my own funds, so I'm not sponsored. And uh, yeah, I want to catch you up on also what I've been doing throughout the course of the last two weeks. And it's been quite a busy one, but I'll put that towards the end so that we can talk about the yarning goodness up front and get uh, to our fiber addictions right away. Uh, so I hope everyone's been doing well. I've been reading and loving all of the comments that you've been leaving me. So thank you so much for that. Anyone new to the channel and wanting to know what this is all about? Hi, my name's Gary and I've set up this channel to talk about all of my yarny adventures that is in knit, crochet, and I do dabble in a little bit of hand dyeing of yarn as well, nothing on a huge scale. And yeah, so uh, if that sort of thing is of interest, please stick around. To the Fibre friends who are returning, I just want to say welcome back. I hope everyone has been doing a, you know, doing well and enjoying their week. So let's get stuck into the podcast, shall we? And talk about the finished objects that I have here. Last two episodes ago, I was showcasing this particular crocheted shawl called the Alicia shawl. And this was, or is, I should say, one of David Browning's uh, patterns and I absolutely loved working on it and I chose a really nice yarn for it which uh, is a combination of a variegated self-striping yarn as well as a tonal yarn so I combined the two together so uh, David what an amazing amazing shawl that you've uh, created I will link David's YouTube channel down below it is part of the he's part of the uh, bearded yarn dudes and this pattern is one of his. So I started the make from this side here and it increases to the point here. I did one alteration. I wanted to make it um, asymmetrical. So I started to decrease from the point and I made it an extra arm of the uh, of the shawl and I had extra yarn to use so I wanted to fade into this color down here and so yeah I wanted to use up all the yarn and the last thing that I did was on just the top side of the triangle that wraps around you I added in a half double crochet row to clean it up and then I did a reverse single crochet across the top to get a nice little twisted rope style uh, I guess finish on on the edge and I really like that as well so yeah I've got some photographs of this wrapped around a hanger which I'll add in now so you can take a look at how it does when it drapes around uh, shoulders and I absolutely love the drape of this yarn and I'll come back and tell you what I used What I used for the Alicia shawl was the hook 5.5 millimeter Susan Bates and it worked up really nicely paired with the yarn and the yarn that I used was Michael's Loops and Threads in the collection called Eco Calm Stripes and the two colorways that I started I started with one colorway called Mermaid and then probably the last I'm going to say 25 to 50 grams of the yarn I started striping in the second or fading into in the second yarn which was the green waist colorway until it was completely exhausted and then uh it was just the green waves towards the second arm of the triangle and it worked up really nice so 
yeah, the content of the uh, yarn here is 60% recycled polyester, 15% regular polyester, and 15% acrylic and 15 10% uh, wool. So a great, great number of fibers there in those those two little uh, balls of yarn worked up really super nice. The second finished item that I want to share with you today is this beanie here. I followed a pattern from Tin, Tin Can Knits and it has an interesting name. It's called Cleotic Took. Now a took, that's how it's spelled. A took is a beanie here in Canada. It's often used here on the West Coast. And I <laughs> ran across this question a few videos back, maybe about six months ago when Harvey, my husband, and I did a video uh, Chad used the term toque and people were asking and inquiring what a toque is. So it's just another word for a, a beanie or a slouchy uh, hat. So yeah, I really, really liked it. It has, the pattern has around seven different sizes from infant child all the way up to an adult size large. And what I'd done was I did it to a medium size. So it fits a 22 inch head, which is a little small for me. I can still wear it, but it's, uh, as, I, as I mentioned, it's a little tight. I have a 23 inch head and I'm probably gonna give this away to someone who has the appropriate size head. <laughs> so yeah, I used um, three different yarns. That's what it calls for. And what I used was a worsted weight hand dyed yarn that I cooked up in the kitchen for the main color. It's all these wonderful greens and I've got speckles in there of, of scarlet red, sometimes turning into a pink color when it's washed down. And I absolutely loved it. Loved using this yarn. Uh, I over dyed a yarn from, I believe it was La Mia Just Wool and it was in a original, a light gray color. So that's all of this body, uh, main body color here of the same yarn. And I paired it with a contrast color here for my second, and it is the La Mia Angora, which is a uh, really, really soft four weight yarn as well. I think it's four or three. No, it's a three weight yarn. And I used that in the hat design as well. Lovely uh, soft yarn there. And I, my third and final bright color that I've got popping through the grid lines there is this uh, Sheep G's Callista. And this one is a cotton yarn in a three, three weight. So all of them are kind of varying sizes. It might be three, it might be four. Let me see what they say. Mm. I think it might be between a three and a four. So yeah, that's the turquoisey color there. So if you need the color number, it is two, four, seven. And the Angora is just black. That's the colorway. And the code number is L006. I had a lot of fun making this. So yeah, it um, the pattern calls for two sizes of needles and I went down a size in needle because of my gauge, also because I'm a loose knitter. So I used a three millimeter for the brim and moved up to a 3.475 uh, for the body hat. So yeah, really enjoyed it. And it's a slouchy, a slouchy toque. Really, really nice. The next item that I want to talk about is a scarf that I'm working up. Now it's not done, it's almost finished and it's for a birthday present that's happening on August 31st uh, of a family member. So I'm hoping to get it done in time and gifting it. So uh, the ends aren't woven in yet, but it's around six feet long, about four inches wide, and it, I'm using three different yarns together and blending them. So I'm doing a two by two ribbing, so it's quite squishy and flexible. I think once the stitches relax, it will probably be more of a six inch width scarf. 
but yeah those are the colors that I'm working through and as I said the ends aren't tied in yet but I'll do that all together when it's finished and I'm up to here I'm using a 5.5 millimeter set of bamboo knitting needles from Clover and yeah I'm really enjoying it I'm enjoying the Meg and it's going super super quick I can watch television or listen to podcasts uh, whilst working on this without having too much like brain energy or mistakes along the way. That's a segue into what I'm using in the, uh, th as the three different yarns and it all came about by finding a yarn in my stash from Universal Yarns and it is this one here called Classics, Classic Shades and the colorway is called Chili Peppers. It's a four weight yarn and it's a blend wool acrylic blend. Now, this was generously gifted to me by a wonderful friend of mine who would like to remain anonymous, but you know who you are. So thank you so much for sending me this yarn. Uh, I took this yarn to uh, build on in the scarf. I chose different uh, yarns to add to it. And so it's a really, really nice, wonderfully soft, rich colors, very deep and mysterious kind of colors in this, um, in the chili, chili peppers. And um, so I worked on this. I went to a yarn store, which leads me to the, uh, the spotlight that I want to talk about with uh, Uptown Yarns in Courtney on the island in BC, Vancouver Island and I purchased a few of their yarns. Now this is the third time or fourth time that I've visited the store. So I've met the owner of the store, her name's Jen. Hi Jen. And uh, she has wonderful selection of local hand dyed yarn and also some brands from Europe uh, that she stocks in her store. And this one is in particular the King Cole variety and it's their big value chunky yarn in the colorway midnight so I added that to the mix of the scarf as well I just love the twist on it and it's very very soft and bouncy and does not uh, separate or break um, when you're using it so that's that's lovely it doesn't split and the second color that I'm using is in spice so the same type of yarn so I'm adding those two into the, the, the scarf. And just because I like green, I bought uh, this color here, which is called Bracken. So I really like those shady colors and how rich and deep they are. Yeah, so Jen selling them at her store for $7.49 per 100 gram bowl. And it's in Canadian currency. So I uh, really, really, think that's a great value. Now, I'm not affiliated with Uptown Yarns. I just like the store. So I wanted to flag it in case people who have moved to the island or they wanna surf the uh, their website to look at what they have, that it's out there and they're wonderful people. The other thing that I purchased from Uptown Yarns was a local hand dyer to the island. And this is the yarn here that I purchased. The person who dyed up this yarn, their company name is called Sweater Maker. And this ball band says simply hand dyed, 85% superwash, extra fine merino wool, 15% nylon. It's a hundred gram hank and you get 400 meters in it. 34 Canadian dollars. And it's in this beautiful tonal rich blue, very, very saturated and lovely. And you do see a little bit of the yarn coming through there as well on the dye. So you'll get some nice weathered kind of looking uh, material if you work this up. So absolutely squishy and beautiful. No undergarments required if you make this up into a shawl or a scarf and it sits on your skin. The last thing that I purchased was a yarn and you guessed it, it's in green. And this one was Barocco Vintage DK, so it's a three weight yarn, and it was $10.99. It uh, is a 100 gram hank, which gives me 200 and 
90 yards or 266 meters. It's 52 acrylic, 40 wool, and 80 uh, sorry, 8% nylon. The color is 2175, no name, just the number. Absolutely adore this one too. It's so deliciously green and shiny and super, super soft too. Yeah. So that was my little trip to the local yarn store on Vancouver Island. The next thing I wanna catch you up on is a make that I uh, did for another birthday earlier on in the month, and it was a little cozy, and it was the shamrock cozy pattern that I followed, and it's fr a free pattern, which I'll link down below. Uh, so it was for a person who requested it months and months ago, and I'm sure that she had forgotten. Anyway, she was thrilled to receive it, and I've got a photograph that she took and uh, is allowing me to put on my podcast. So here it is here. So I believe that catches you up on everything Yanni. Now what I'm going to do is just talk a little bit about what I've been up to for the past two weeks and watching some shows, maybe talk about some things that happened last Saturday and share that with you as well, which was quite a surprise and also, uh, you know, touched me in a way that I thought I need to do something special. So I'll get to that in a bit. So what have I been doing? Well, we did visit the Vancouver Island uh, to check on the house. Uh, the tenants are still, well, not the tenants, the current owners are still living in there. So uh, we didn't go inside, but we did look around the neighborhood once again with some friends who came from Vancouver and we went to the cabin. So we had some wonderful times, great memories, played lots of games. The weather wasn't so great, but um, I worked on some crochet and I caught up with friends and yeah, we did dip into the lake. So that was really nice. We had a nice uh, one hot afternoon, which was great. Uh, so that was awesome. That's when I stopped into Uptown Yarns to make those purchases. Uh, then I noticed on Saturday, last Saturday, that a lot of people had come across from Mama Swift, who is Trisha. Hi, Trisha. And she had, uh, she has this segment in her YouTube channel called, uh, The Raid, or I think it's called, like, Let's Raid or Your Choice. And she pulls a, a YouTube channel out of a bag and then asks all of her fiber friends to come across to that YouTube channel and raid their videos by saying, Mama Swift sent me. So uh, that happened to me last Saturday and I, I was pleasantly surprised. So I thought it was a really sweet gesture. And uh, so what I what I am doing is I'm also contributing to the winner because it's a part of a giveaway that Mama Swift has and I'm going to be packaging something up and sending it to the winner. Now, I just watched Mama Swift draw the winner or she had a little video and it's, my good friend, Granny D. Hi, Granny D. Thompson, how you doing? And I'm looking forward to sending you something as well, special uh, for coming across and saying hi. So yeah, I also had started a new contract, a full-time contract uh, for up until November. So I've got three months and it is quite heavy, heavily involved right now. So it's come at a really strange time in my life where I'm worried about like packing up and starting a new, like, uh, you know, a move to a new place. And then I've got this extra work going on. So yeah, never a dull moment. And I'm not complaining at all because life, life's essence is always about being busy and experiencing new things. So I welcome it completely. Um, so what else have I been doing? I have been watching Netflix as well. A couple of movies that I have here uh, to review and suggest uh, if you're looking for something while you're crafting to watch. Now, this one, these two that I'm uh, going to mention are a little bit quirky and one is a little bit more of a, a thriller slash a little bit peculiar. So uh, the first one is a Tim Burton movie called Miss Peregrine's Home for Particular Children, and it is uh, quite a, a fantastical movie about uh, time warps and time loops and shift changes and special superpowers. So uh, it's quite a fantasy-based movie, and I enjoyed the storyline of it 
uh, thoroughly and great actors are in it as well. Lots of uh, English actors, but there are some names in there as well from the US as well. The second one is The Gift. Now this is a thriller. I really enjoyed it. It has twists and turns, uh, quite uh, kind of stealth moments where you're holding your breath, waiting to uh, for something strange to happen. And uh, yeah, I won't give too much away, but it is quite a thrilling movie. So yeah, there are some suggestions and I hope that you uh, enjoy them. Let me know if you do watch them or if you have watched them, whether you enjoyed them. So I think that catches you up on everything. I uh, wish everyone a good week and I will catch you up maybe in a couple of weeks. I'll get back to uh, doing my packing and maybe if I have time just before the move I will give you a tour of the place when it's emptied so that you can see how I see the place when I shut the door for the final time and turn that key. So anyway, uh, enjoy your week. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!